first, let me uh, update you on what else we're watching. Michael Jackson's family says Dr. Conrad Murray is not the only person responsible for his death. The Jacksons have filed a wrongful death lawsuit against AEG, that entertainment company, planning the This Is It concert series at the time. Well, this morning there's a hearing to address several motions related to that civil suit. So I want to bring in CNN entertainment producer Alan Duke, who's going to be at that hearing today. And I believe we have Beth Karras as well. Uh, Alan, let me go to you first. Uh, first. Who's going to be there? Is family, are family members of the Jacksons going to be at this hearing today? It would, it would somewhat surprise me if Katherine Jackson is there, uh, perhaps maybe a brother or two, but I don't really expect that, but perhaps. So they will be represented by several of their lawyers. They're lawyers who have been now for uh, more, well over a year, actually more, pursuing this uh, wrongful death lawsuit against the concert promoter. So they'll be in the courtroom, and um, I think also who will be there Howard Mann may be there. He was the uh, former partner of Katherine Jackson in the uh, uh, in, in a book and a documentary. And of course, he's somewhat controversial, as he has admitted to CNN that he leaked emails to uh, the LA Times uh, regarding AEG and Michael Jackson. Hmm. Well, you know, I think people are watching this, and some are just saying, "Well, Conrad Murray's already convicted." What is it exactly the family really wants? Because it's not as though he has any money. Well, uh, it, it's, this is about how um, Conrad Murray was supervised and chosen and what kind of equipment he had and the pressure that allegedly was put on him and Michael Jackson to have Michael at rehearsals and ready for those concerts in London in July of 2009. Uh, the family alleges that there was a lot going on behind the scenes uh, with AEG pressuring uh, the performer to be ready, and that caused uh, him uh, to resort to using propofol and unable to get sleep. Those are the accusations that we're talking about, that, that it was AEG that, and their dealings uh, that, uh, that led to Michael Jackson's death, and that um, Dr. Murray was simply an employee of AEG. So part of this is going to be who supervised him, not necessarily just who picked him, but how much was AEG and its executives involved in uh, the care that Michael Jackson got that, uh, that a jury has said led to his death. Mm, interesting. All right. Hey, thank you so much, Alan Duke. Beth Karras, uh, so can you kind of break down the suit for us into specifics and, and what's going to happen today? Hello? Hi, Beth. It's Christy. Uh I'm sorry, I think Hi, we're having I, I an audio call. issue. Yeah, I couldn't hear any. I couldn't hear you. Did you okay. ask me a question? I'm yeah, sorry. I just wanted to ask you if you could please break down this suit for us, this uh, Jackson suit, and what's going to happen today in court. Yeah, sure. Well, the lawsuit was filed in 2010, in September 2010, and it's against AEG and some of the principals of the company. And this is the concert promoter for the This Is It concert series that was coming up. Right, at, it was scheduled to begin the month after Michael Jackson died. In fact, a couple of weeks after. Now, the allegations that Katherine Jackson, on behalf of Michael's three children, since she is, well, at the time she was the only guardian, she shares guardianship now, uh, it alleges basically negligence on the part of AEG. There are actually five causes of action, but the essence of it is negligence in the hiring and supervision of Dr. Conrad Murray to take care of Michael. And uh, they say that you know, AEG was aware that Michael Jackson was not doing well. His health wasn't, wasn't in, in, well. He, wasn't, he, he needed psychiatric help. He needed medical help. And uh, that they put pressure on Dr. Murray to make sure that Michael made it to rehearsals because if he didn't get to rehearsals, the shows would be canceled and Dr. Murray wouldn't get paid. And he was contracted to be paid $150,000 a month. He never did get paid. But uh, they said that that was negligent in basically taking over the doctor-patient relationship and making demands of Dr. Murray. Uh, those are the allegations. I don't know uh, if, if um, Catherine Jackson will, and her attorneys will be able to prove that, though, against AEG. I was going to say, based on your legal knowledge of this, is it a strong case? I mean, do they, do they really have some good meat there to, to go with? Well, there, uh, there was a report in that LA Times reported in early September. They got a hold of some email exchanges among AEG officials who are actually being sued in this case that showed they did indeed have knowledge 
of Michael Jackson's medical condition well in advance of, uh, of his death and that perhaps there was some pressure put on uh, Dr. Murray and on Michael to make it to rehearsals. So the case may be a little stronger than people thought. Now, one of the reasons I believe that going into court today is because of that LA Times report and these emails that were exchanged among the officials, again, they, are, they, are, they include the people being sued, that there was some discovery violation, like, like maybe Catherine Jackson or someone there, AEG is alleging, leaked these emails impermissibly to the media or to other sources and that the files are supposed to be sealed. So I believe that they're going to ask again that there be a sealing of the discovery and that this stuff not get out into the public domain.